probably wondering why I'm standing out in the rain right now. And of course, if you haven't read the video title, that answer is going to surprise you. I'm currently standing out in the rain in order to calculate the value of pi, which I'm doing with this apparatus right here, and the randomness of falling raindrops. I like building analog electronics, but to call this thing an analog computer is a bit of an understatement. This is actually using the physical shape of the device and the randomness of rain falling on it to calculate the value of pi. Now I have two basic geometric shapes that I've cut out of wood. I have a circle and a square on this board. And underneath those shapes are sensors. There's just a little bit of wiring down there. Sensors that can detect the vibration when a raindrop falls and hits the shape and taps on it a little bit. So all of those raindrops are actually counted by a microcontroller and then just sent to the computer so I can look at it later. The cool thing is that on average, the ratio of the number of raindrops that hit the circle and the square is pi over 4. So you can actually take that ratio, multiply it by 4, and that is the value of pi that you have sort of figured out based on the number of raindrops that have hit these shapes. The catch, of course there's a catch, is that you need an awful lot of data to make this work. This is basically a physical incarnation of a classic numerical methods technique called the Monte Carlo method. And the Monte Carlo method is a stochastic method, which means that it relies on random sampling. So here, raindrops are that random sample. But the word stochastic actually comes from the Greek word that means to aim at or to guess. So this truly is a random, like, well, you don't really know that it's the right answer. But if you collect enough data, you can assume that you're very close to the right answer. So I think this is pretty cool, and it's one of my favorite projects in a long time. I was able to calculate pi to almost three significant digits, which, based on how rough this whole setup is, I think is a serious win. So, although the apparatus itself is pretty rough and pretty simple, the reason that it can calculate pi is not. So, if you're wondering exactly how and why this works, stick around for another 20 seconds and click on the part two video, where I will explain the apparatus and the sensor as well as the math behind the Monte Carlo method and why raindrops falling on wooden boards can actually calculate numerical constants like pi. This project started almost a year ago when I was actually running in the rain right after a computational physics class. <laughs> so uh, in that computational physics class we were using a lot of random sampling method. One day after class I was running and it started to rain and I was noticing the pattern of the raindrops on the ground before the ground was completely saturated and just how randomly the droplets were distributed and how even it was and thought, man, it would be really entertaining to try to actually calculate something using the randomness of raindrop. 